And we ask again that you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one of the time, finest displays of athleticism you will see Thank in the Volunteer you. State, the 2017 TWSAA Boys Track State Championship. I'm Wes Bowling with you on the NFHS Network, and we are just about ready to get started here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The camp at 100 race, yeah. and maybe in the 200 as well. Some some outstanding athletes. Right now, the 4x800. Again, we mentioned Houston is the top seed in this. They're led by two of the top three overall 800 qualifiers. Daniel Boone, the second qualifier, won this event back in 2013, and they have an athlete, Ben Varghese, who might run this race. He's also entered in the 16 and the 32. Hardin Valley is your three seed, Bartlett four. And the top eight are rounded out by Oak Ridge, Whitehaven, Farragut, and Brentwood. Watch out for Brentwood. The Bruins are your three-time defending state champ in this event. So. Just as Catholic had won the last three in AAA, Brentwood's won the last three in triple. I mean, they're just, they're just solid all around. I mean, they're, they're distance guys, they're 800 guys. They're just, they're just so profound in what they do. They come, they show up business-like, and just like you said, you better watch out for Brentwood Academy. Yeah, this is a very important event, in fact, for Brentwood. They lead the team race by 11 points right now, but Memphis Central is going to be on their tails because Memphis Central has a lot of sprinters. Brentwood's strength is the field events. Hardin Valley leads as we wrap up the first lap here. So Brentwood really needs to exceed its qualifying time and position of eighth place if they want to gain some key points in the team competition. Elsewhere in the field, Oakland, Germantown, Blackman, Ravenwood, Wilson Central, Centennial, Cleveland, and Riverdale. And as we are about 100 meters into the second lap of this race, it is Hardin Valley out front, but the pack pretty tight right now it is I and mean, that's what you see in triple a chris these depth th th there are very few programs that are going to drop off the pace oh here. oh man i mean it's, it's it's to the finish i mean these guys are just in the pack and nobody has established themselves yet but i'm telling you when you when you start passing that baton to give it to the next guy then now you're going to start seeing teams establish their position and an impressive move man, impressive to take first place the candy striper red shorts don't see that like look that. very often <laughs> You know, it, 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 we're now we're about to come to a few exchanges. This is where you start to see separation right here, the, the passing of the baton, and this is where you can gain those extra extra yards to get advantage over those other teams. And I am uh, struggling to identify what team. It's Daniel Boone. So it looks like just a tank top, but they've got their, <laughs> their team name on the back and the candy striper red shorts, making a candy style stripe. statement here today <laughs> at stake. You got, hey, you feel good, you run good. It looks like the University of, or the Indiana University basketball team oh, they had yeah. those, those warm-up pants, except in shorts <laughs> version. And Daniel Boone's a team to be reckoned with here. They're they the are, second I mean, overall qualifier. They're looking really smooth. I mean, that, that second runner, just look how smooth it is. He's on his toes, relaxed face. This shows you that he's prepared for this race. An impressive start, too, by the Blackman Blaze. They're looking good, the Black, 11 that's overall That's a cool scene. name, Blackman Blaze. Blackman Blaze, good old <laughs> alliteration at work. Blackman in second place right now, and watch out for Houston. They're going to make a move here at some point, most likely, if they choose to run their superstar runners in this event. Colin Jones, the top overall qualifier, comes in about a second faster than everybody else. Keaton Jones, the third qualifier. Twin brothers for Twin, Houston. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> It is Daniel Boone followed by Houston and Blackman. And I mentioned how impressive Blackman is. They were the 11th overall qualifier in this race. But, you know, it's qualifying times are nice. They're really yeah. all we have to go on when you're looking at, at stacking these teams beforehand. But they're not everything. There's a lot of factors that can play into why a team might qualify it for the one time and then finish a lot better or a lot worse. Yeah, you got to remember that there's a lot of athletes that are doing different events. So when they're doing different events and you know that you can get in with the 4 by 8 with, with different kind of guys, and that's why you have alternates. So when you have that kind of depth on that team and then you can load up a state because this is your last meet to win a championship. So I think that's exactly what they're doing. Daniel Boone followed by Houston as they round good. the turn, and we're almost halfway done with this race. I needed you here, Chris. Not, <laughs> not only uh -oh. not only did I think a race was over six laps in when there were two more to go, oh, but no. I also <laughs> called the wrong winner. I, you know I got you back. <laughs> it is a lot different doing this by yourself. Good to have my partner in crime well, up here now. man, it's good to be here, man. I'm sorry I'm running the late. Not man. your gotta, problem. You're gotta, coaching your guys. I'm coaching my guys, yeah. So I got actually I got to run down there in about – seven or eight more minutes to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. How challenging is it for you keeping your focus on making sure your guys are coached up while you're doing this? It's got to be tough pulling double duty. It's, it's tough, but it's fun because I get up here and get a chance to talk about track, but also I try to stay on my athletes' way because I don't want, just like we talked about yesterday, I don't want to always harp on, you got your baton, you got this, you got it. They don't want to hear that right now. 
they heard me heard they heard me do that in practice and those other meets. Now it's just focusing on what you have to do to win a state championship, and I think that we got a chance. You mentioned yesterday, great event yesterday uh-huh. here. We called the girls' state track championship. Whitehaven, your AAA champs, yet another season of, of winning Strong that title team. for them. Brentwood Academy won Division Two, and East Nashville took home the school's first ever track title for the state championship in AAA. And speaking of championships, Houston trying to win one here. Three laps to go, and they've opened up a nice lead on Blackman and Boone. Oh, man. You know, the reason why I love track so much is just so many storylines. You catch the pun? <laughs> storylines. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca Story, a superstar for CAK. Three individual titles Unbelievable. and a four by eight. I was talking with the track analyst here in the state after because uh-huh. we were impressed by her. Im- impressed. And, and he told me. She didn't run close to her personal best in any of those races. She was, in some cases, jogging. At least it's all relative, but for her it was jogging. <laughs> Whereas these other athletes are half a lap behind in some uh, cases. Man, just showed you that she's a superior athlete. She's not, she's not big in stature, but she, she feels big on the track. Every college coach in Every. America is pursuing the junior from Christian Academy of Knoxville. She's been on a couple visits, Tennessee and Georgetown, two oh, great wow. programs there. But she'll have her pick of where she wants to go. Smart, oh, no smart doubt. girl as well. No doubt. I mean, just a superior athlete. And she can tell that she trains well. Yeah. Rebecca Story herself finished about sixth place in the state yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Houston with a big pass here of Daniel Boone after Boone had made its move. And now with two laps to go, it's going to be the Houston Mustangs. And the Trailblazers of Daniel Boone duking it out. Don't you love races like that that are really, really close and it comes down to the last exchange? I mean, you just, you just love races like that. It's especially fun really in is. a longer race like this yes. where there's buildup. As great as it is in the 4x1, four 4x2, by <laughs> four by I know those are right, your favorites. Right. Those are what you coach. I think it's also fun when you have these evolving plots, these chess matches in the longer races, and it still comes down to a second. I, I mean, it is. It just shows you, you know, whose game plan is coming to flourish. And I mean, when you put your fast or second, your first, your fast guy or your second guy on, on different legs, it just shows you that the chess match is awesome to watch. Houston in first, Daniel Boone in second, and the Blackman Blaze have been – brilliant so far Black they're in third blade. you said three b, uh, b not b squared b to the third power say that again blackman the blackman blaze have been brilliant oh been brilliant <laughs> they're in third but it is houston at the bell lap with the lead at six minutes and 57 seconds it's going to take quite an effort from daniel boone it's the twin brother duo oh, of colin and keaton one ran the third leg one is running the fourth and they're the ones who are going to try to take this championship Houston, the top seed, and trying to become the first champion in AAA today in a track event. Man, that's, uh, it, it, just, it just shows you, man, that they're, they're really strong at, at what they're doing. I mean, look at the last leg. He's just running so smooth. He's not tightening up. Facial expression is just real loose. So it just shows you that coming down the stretch, he has a chance to pick it up and have a fast time. And there is a huge pack contending for fourth place right now. So keep an eye on that drama as well as the athletes try to separate themselves the 200 to go. Not as much drama out in front right now, though, as Houston has been very impressive today. And it is going to be the Houston Mustangs taking home the state championship in AAA in the 4x800 at right around 7 minutes and 58 seconds. A great effort from Houston, Chris. They were favored, but it's hard sometimes as yeah. the favorite to follow up and get the job done. I mean, they saw, didn't have any problems. <laughs> we saw that yesterday. We saw maybe two young ladies that were favored in meets or favored in their event, and next thing you know, something bad happened. But it just shows you they were focused, they were poised, and every exchange was good, and that's why they, there's your uh, – 2017 state champion. And how about the Blaze of Blackman from right here in Murfreesboro finishing Murfreesboro. second after being seated 11th? Very oh. impressive. <laughs> but you got to remember, they probably didn't load up their team in region and probably loaded up today. So that's why their team drastically changed. They won their sectional championship, and that's all they were focused on doing getting in. So that's probably the explanation yes, as to why that time wasn't as fast. They come in second. Third place is Daniel Boone, and that on, will. Just about wrap up our first event of the day as the runners oh. finish crossing the track. And we will head after that to the 151 Houston. A hand Back at MTSU in Murfreesboro, Wes Bowling, Bowling with you, ready to introduce the 110 meter hurdles starting in AAA. Your lane one participant will be Ethan Ward from Sullivan South in Kingsport, Tennessee. In lane two from Greenville is Ty Youngblood. In lane three, Michael McMahon from Page. He's the top returner from last year. In lane four, a freshman from Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences, Brevin Sims.